Donald Duck, Donald Duck, Donald Duck. Okay. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. That's Donald Duck. Donald fucking Duck. That startup sound. Mm -hmm. PlayStation, baby. I'm never on to PlayStation. Oh, wait. I thought we were doing, like, the Insane Trilogy or something. Ubisoft. The people that made Crash Bandicoot. Disney Interactive. The people who made Crash Bandicoot. There he is. Hey. Um. It's Donald Duck. It's Donald fucking Duck. <laughs> Going quackers. What? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's cutscene time. This is not oh, Crash Bandicoot! You thought we were done with the Kingdom Hearts marathon? It's this just is beginning. This is Donald Duck! You gaslit me! Very good. What is this? <laughs> wow. Why is the music so crazy? Yeah, the music is way more than Jack than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, this is Donald Duck going quackers, the Crash Bandicoot ripoff game. I'm pretty sure Zap was inspired for this maneuver whenever I talked about it on Dave the Tiger. You did this. So yes, this is my fault. This is Crash, this is just Crash 3. We do have a nephew that we can talk to maybe. What do you I'm mean watching. we have a nephew to talk to? Crash Bandicoot doesn't have a nephew. Oh, hi, the music just cuts. Is this voice acting? Yeah. The music just cuts whenever dialogue happens. I'm never trusting you again. Let's go in the first level. Forest Edge is just made for us. Inner peace. Oh look. And here we go. It's Crash Bandicoot. Inner peace. It is Crash Bandicoot. I can attack. I can jump. Flex stars. Here in Sweden, it was called Quack Attack. I always thought that was very strange whenever games were just called like completely different things in different localizations. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> would it rob you of your essential Crash Bandicoot experience? I was I was so dope for Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> oh, skunk. Oh, I jumped over oh. it. Yo, moose. Okay, you gotta get this book and then collect the bear within the time limit. Oh, okay. And then torque. The right. frame rate on some of these pickables is a little funny, but honestly, this doesn't look too bad. I think I mentioned during Dave the Diver, I was like, I just remembered that this game exists. I, I didn't remember if it was like good or not. Oh, it's so. your fault. <laughs> I'm getting a rum. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your fucking deathbed. I will be there to unplug you. <laughs> I can't believe this was done to me today. You saying you hate this? <laughs> he hates Donald Duck. I have my Crash Bandicoot t-shirt on. I have my peach Crash Bandicoot BJ's on. My Crash I have plushie my, like, body pillow of Life Crash sized. Bandicoot right next to me. I have my little socks on with Neo Cortex's uh, dis dismembered head on it. Oh, but look, we got two D sections now. Wow, just like what? Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> wasn't? Oh yeah, actually, wasn't there a Crash Bandicoot game that did something like this? I mean, every yes, Crash game has 2D sections. Was, yeah, like, all of them okay. did that. I, 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 I died for God. <laughs> Not a fan! Mushi says, what is going on here? I've been betrayed! We're playing Mushi. Crash Bandicoot, Mushi! I had, like, my 100-year-old windy Crash Bandicoot that's aged 100 years, and I opened it just for this occasion, just to see Donald fucking Duck. <laughs> in a Crash Bandicoot-esque game here. I hope you know I'm never trusting you again. So I'd be like dangling off a cliff and you'd oh. be like, take my hand, I'd rather fall. Mushi okay. says also, There's... doesn't he wear pants? Donald or Crash? Oh my God, you're right. Crash Bandicoot is, well, one of them is like the evil version of the other. Cause like Crash Bandicoot like only wears pants and Donald Duck refuses to wear pants. Yeah, obviously the articles of clothing determines your alignment. It's true. So is there like a separate kick button versus a punch button or? No, it's just in the air. Oh, okay. So you have to do some like Smash Brothers, like short hop and the kick yep. stuff. <laughs> that's, I don't know, that's kind of fun actually. You drag me through all of the, enti the entire of Sonic the Hedgehog video games and Kingdom Hearts, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason that you were doing Kingdom Hearts or Sonic the Hedgehog Just was so that you crash. would eventually get to Crash Bandicoot. So the fact that you start every level at max HP and you only need to grab a milkshake while you're already at max HP to get the invincibility is kind of 
That's a lot easier to do, I feel like, than Crash Bandicoot. Because, like, if you die in Crash, you start with no hits, right? Yes. So you have to collect. Yeah. Also, can you stop talking about how well designed this game is compared to <laughs> Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not necessarily saying You're it's saying good it's or easier. bad. It's, it's, it's easier, yeah. Boss fight. No, wait. Oh, this is a different level. Fifth level. What do you have to do? Shoot Goofy? Uh, more Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> this time, in reverse. Ah, uh, classic. What the fuck is that in the back? Um... It's a bear, clearly. Uh, Pete's brother. <laughs> what if it was Julius chasing me? That'd be funny. Also, the really happy music is back. Oh, you stalled him by turning the sign. Okay. I don't know, that's kind of fun. I like that. <laughs> You're gonna make Colin mad. <laughs> No, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's like better than Crash Bandicoot. Be like, oh, thank God we're playing Donald Duck. I'm surprised I didn't die yet, because I'm Is terrible it... at these like backwards levels. Yeah. Oh, the, oh. Is... okay. Okay. Boss fight. You ready? No. Who could it be? It's a. It's a bird. What it's the a... fuck is that? What Are you sure that? that's a bird? Maybe we just need to brush up on our deep lore of Donald Duck. I gotta kill his babies. Oh. It is kind of funny that, like, only Donald Duck could have been in this game because, like, Goofy and Mickey are, like, too nice, generally speaking. Oh, apparently Donald Duck going quackers for PlayStation 1 was developed by Ubisoft Shanghai. He's dead. I killed him. Actually, holy shit, you did kill him. Oh, the second world's opened up now. Bye, Huey. See you later, nerd. I think you're Huey. Oh yeah, I think there's only four worlds in this game. Now, I loaded up a save file that completed the time trials for that world. Okay. And this is my reward. You get to change outfits. Oh, that's actually kind of fun. Oh, hell yeah, actually. Hmm. I'm vibing with this. Okay, I assume you're Dewey? No, I'm furious. Bald. Quiet now. Bald point. He gets a new idol animation depending on his costume? Oh, I didn't see that. That's crazy. I didn't see that. He like took a bunch of pictures. We finally made it and we're here in Duckburg. Life is like a hurricane. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, very... <laughs> that is very Crash Bandicoot. I'm pretty sure there's like 12 enemies that do that exact same thing in Crash. Fire height. Oh. oh, I have to collect roller skates? Oh, he still twerks. <laughs> He's still twerking. Oh, I thought it was going to launch me, man, like a bounce pad. Yeah, well, sometimes you have to get used to disappointment. <laughs> oh, I, I have to bounce on you? All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, give me. What? Can I? What? Oh, I have to. Oh, I can't believe you're just assaulting innocent men. Well, they're dogs, so clearly they're evil. You call Goofy evil, you monster? <laughs> Well, is he in Duckburg? No, uh, he lives in New York. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever done. I hate you. And yes, I, I told Roman about this. Yeah, I know, because you were. Yeah, I heard you two giggling and chortling as uh, as I was like, wait, why? that wasn't a Crash Bandicoot loading screen. <laughs> oh, why is the status for the edgelord room a duck? It was all planned. I feel so left out. Hey, when we actually get to Crash Bandicoot, you're going to know more about it than Blue. It's true. That wasn't like what I was trying to achieve. I just <laughs> wanted to play Crash Bandicoot. It's not like a haha, -ha, Roman, I am so much smarter than you situation. I know I'm smarter than him. I have a master's degree. It's true. <laughs> All right. Beagle Boys Tower. Beagle Boy. Oh, what do they look like? They're those bandit uh, they looking got, like, ones, the right? On. Yeah. Okay, they look different. Well, I think this is their, like, classic look. I'm pretty sure they usually look like this. Because the Beagle Boys were in Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Doom Drop Distance. This boss fight is what I mostly remembered Donald Duck going quackers for. I'm pretty sure there was, like, a demo being played at a dentist's office or something like that, and it was just, like, this level or something like that. Which is a very interesting thing to set up for a demo, but whatever, <laughs> I guess. But speaking of classic platformers and Ubisoft games, have you heard the, the interesting news about Rayman? Mm, I don't think uh, so. What about Rayman hasn't gotten a new game in a really long time, and we got a new announcement related to Rayman. Uh, and it's not that he's getting a new game. He's appearing as like a villain in a new Ubisoft show. And the image the image I got from Twitter is very interesting. I'm gonna send it to I'm gonna send it to Colin. 
What the shit? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the more I look at this, the more confused I am. He's eating sushi off of a naked furry. You can't be serious with this picture, though. Can I see the picture? Like, okay, sure, I'll link it to you. I can just show it on stream. No. <laughs> I don't know that you want to show yeah, it on I don't, stream. Yeah, I don't I'm know not, if not. you want to show this on stream. Yeah, no, I'm not. We're both caught are like, whoa, hold on there, space cadet. Oh my, what the fuck, you're old. Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently this is Magicka Dispel's manner, according to this guide. Ma what? What? Did not know who Magicka Dispel is? No, I can't say I do. Magicka Dispel is like a villainous duck character from uh, the, uh, oh, what the cock is it called? Like the DuckTales show. Yeah, uh, DuckTales. I I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure <laughs> she's show. also she's also like the main villain in the NES game, the Ducktales NES game. Yeah, she is. Am I fighting Magica? Welcome oh, that's to your her. doom, for this is your tomb. <laughs> oh, okay. This is perspective. <laughs> oh, this is kind of fun. Wait. Oh, I thought that was my health bar in the top left. <laughs> as soon as there's like, two... Like, am, am I the boss? As soon as there's two ducks on screen, Zap freaks out. And he's like, who's who? Yes. There we go. Oh, defeated by Donald Duck! Oh, what bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, guy? I'm I love fucking it. here. That was really rhyming, stupid. Rhyming just tickles me. All right, last hub world. I assume. I hope there's not like five more hub worlds. No, this is the, uh, when you're done with this one, you're done. <laughs> Ooh, Egypt? The last world's Egypt thing? Or tombs? Tombs? Boom zombies too? Boom. Aztec, okay. Which she says Aztec. Oh, this is Murloc's temple. Idiot, idiot, dumbass, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. You don't even know your Donald Duck Lord. I don't even know Murloc. That's funny because Murloc is the person who kidnapped Daisy Duck in the opening cutscene that you skipped. Oh. <laughs> What? Oh, okay, I thought I crashed. You oh, could have oh, known who Murloc was last this whole time. Maneuver. Can I jump on you? No. What? How do I get over it? I just... I ha Ooh, he has to die. You kill the wizard or medicine man, says the guide, with a kick when it's not spinning. With only a kick? So I have to, like... You have to, like, low jump. Co collapse himself. Okay, <laughs> okay. Lava piranhas? <laughs> oh, there you are. Give me that. <laughs> it just something, yeah, something about the astonishment of lava piranhas. <laughs> okay. Ooh, special death animation. Nice. Fried duck. Okay. It's really scaring me when he's dying like that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing that. How do you? The hitbox on that guy is huge! Yeah, that that hitbox, hitbox is too. actually psychotic. Okay, so he can't stand on- you suck it. Go on. No, I'm not, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> We're becoming increasingly combative as the live stream goes on. I mean, I guess that's normal for us, but- The fuck? That's what I'm saying, isn't that how every one of these streams go? What? Remember Why did he ex explain here? that? Like, Dude, can you stop? I'm trying to talk. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Could I don't you imagine, understand this! Could you imagine being on a live stream and just being like, Hey, streamer, shut the fuck up, I'm talking. <laughs> like, I know you're dying to a Dark Souls boss and everything, but like, give me the common courtesy to have a conversation here. I forgot what I was gonna say now. <laughs> okay, jump over you. How did I kill you? Oh, you, you, it turns? If this is how you perform at a, at a baby's uh, Crash Bandicoot game, I can't wait till for Crash Bandicoot 1. <laughs> Okay, but Zap's practiced. He's he's wizened in the ways of the Bandicoot. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Crash Bandicoot defeats all opposers. <gasps> Laser. Okay. I, I, I... Oh my God! How do I get past? He stops spinning, you know. Yeah, but he. How do I hit him? Explain that. Slide kick into him. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Mm. It, take your time. Uh, Think about this, you have iframes. <laughs> this is evil! What?! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't... 
Okay, so I have to kick when I'm going down from a jump, probably. Got it. Okay, I know now. You did it, Zap! I know now. Hi, Dewey. Or whichever one you are. You've got, like, all of them Dewey at this point. <laughs> well, do you know which one's like, which? Wow, what a, what, a, what a wonderful uncle you are. <laughs> do you, T Rex. Sure, I'm pretty sure Huey is That's the red one. Pile? Torque on him. What the? What the? Oh, fuck? God. That's, that's scary. Alright, this level's easy. Yeah, after that hell that was the other level, you're uh, kind of gaming. Okay, this is relaxing now. See? Oh! Hey there, look at that. So tell me, why why is he here at Kamayam Cinema? The nephew's murky way? Is Dewey putting me up to this? Yeah, that's Dewey. Again, that's Dewey. I said no, Dewey! That's... Yes, you've been calling them Dewey! The blue one's Dewey! Dewey this... Yeah, but that one is actually Dewey. Oh, okay, wow. send Zephyr to be doing that. Uh, send Zephyr to okay. be Dewey. Oh, you got a wombo. Right, checkpoint's right here. Okay. Look, jump, jump, you damn duck. Just jump over them. <laughs> okay. See, how hard was that? Cut up. <laughs> <laughs> but somewhere in the video, you need you need to put in German <laughs> screaming, Donald fucking duck. And they stab you. They're the final boss. Yeah. Oh, oh, bad, oh where was the checkpoint? Damn it! Damn. I, I tried jumping. Although I tried jumping. I, I didn't my jump. I never got to open this one? Oh, wait. No, no, I never did this one. I never did this one. Okay. That's level four, is it? You play that well, one after you play level I, three. I thought I played like six levels already. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well jump. Jump! <laughs> Ooh, that was I an insane up. twerk. This music's playing now? Uh, interesting that they're bringing back the city music all of a sudden. Ceremonial room. A ceremonial room. <laughs> there he is, dude. Oh, what? Oh, right. Okay. Damn, <laughs> I have been waiting for you. you. God. God. What? 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 He's coming. Oh, He's oh, a triangle. Oh my God, the hex. Oh, Jesus. This is what it's like to fight a wizard without any blue in your deck. Oh, oh. Whoa, okay. No! No! Okay. Hey, he's gonna gabagool you. He's gonna gabagool you. Okay. I can say that on stream, right? I'm sure. I win. Not. We have no idea why we've been collecting this energy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that makes any sense, but alright. What? What? <laughs> hey! Maybe there's a nickel! That's Scrooge now. That's not Scrooge. I don't know who that is, but Mushi says, Hey, Colin, isn't that Hop Pop's voice on the duck with the crutch? Oh, that might be Hop Pop. Yeah. Who's Hop Pop? Wait, so, we might be able to find out who he is in this credits. Hold oh my on. God. We, we can discover. There's no music, by the way. But the voice talents. He's not on there. No. There's no Bill Farmer. No. Frank Welker, though. That was Don Duck going crackers. There we go. <laughs> Okay, Colin, put on your Crash Bandicoot PJs again. All right, hang on. Wear your Crash Bandicoot ring. It has a crystallized wump of fruit on it. This game can only be as a capped frame rate, and there's a way to un to uh, trick the game to uncap it. Look, it it's us, Blue, making Edge Lord's characters. I'm glad they put pants on this Bandicoot. <laughs> oh no, I've killed him. This is animal cruelty. I'm going to jail. No. Prepare the female bandicoot. Prepare the female? I was going to have them fuck and make me watch. A voice clip of him just saying, prepare oh, the female. Oh yeah, you have him in a costume. Oh yeah, this is modded. He's in the, uh, the Crash, <laughs> Crash 3 biker suit. Yeah, do the slow walk and then have him do the haters gonna hay walk. Yeah. Welcome to Crash Bandicoot. My experience with Crash, pretty sure I completed this game and Crash 4. And that's it. One of the times where Colin actually has an edge over me. Don't you usually wear a mask during this part? I guess it's just a mod. Yeah, you're supposed to be wearing Aku Aku there. Mm -hmm. Now you died. I love the costumes you can equip on in Crash 4. I like the balloon one that I saw, the balloon crash. <laughs> Did you see his uh, death animation? No, I haven't. Does he just pop? Yep, he pops. And my last crate, right here. 
I got the jump. That's a jump for you. Gaming. I didn't know he just vomited out the gym. So have you played Crash before the Insane Trilogy? No. For Insane Trilogy, I played uh, I played a little bit of Insanity. Um, that's not a great game. Uh, Insanity? Yeah. I would disagree, even though I haven't played it that much. I only played a little bit of it um, just to make sure it worked on the emula emulator. But a lot of people like that game. And uh... I can't remember. I think it was Crash of the Titans. Oh, yeah. The reboot. Long ago, I think I rented either that one or Mind Over Mutant. I forget which one. I'm just having bad luck to have multiple activated boulder traps just roll towards you. You get out of your current Indiana Jones situation, you're like, okay, that was close, and then you like, walk forward some more, and another one fucking starts rolling down. Why doesn't Crash just jump up here? Avoid it. Is he stupid? He's quite stupid. I mean, look at him. He ate that gem. Does that gem only appear if you get all the crates? Yeah, that gem only yeah. happens if you get all the crates. And the Ankh is a speed speedrun time attack. So a frustrating thing in the uh, original PlayStation version, break all the crates to get the gem kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you hit a TNT thing and you walk off camera... It doesn't count. Um, It doesn't count. Oh, I think I heard that. It would just despawn the crate and it would never count towards being broken. <laughs> you had like sit there and wait for it to detonate. Oh, Papu Papu, first boss. That's right, I thought Koala Kong was the first one. No, it's Papu Papu. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Go. <laughs> He's dead. We never see Papu Papu again, I think, for like, until Twin Sanity. The color gems are just hidden in some levels, right? I think they're just hidden in some levels, and uh, some color gems you need other color gems to acquire. I like how I can hear some N N Eddie sound effects. Yeah, <laughs> the cuckoo clock. There we go. Damn for me. 100% in Crash games I know is like a pain because you have to get all the time tri trials too. Isn't the true ending also locked behind that? You don't have to get the time trials to get the true ending. You just need the be all the crystals and the gems or something. Okay, we'll get to get. I do miss the slide. Yeah, the slide's nice. Because he didn't return your last blockbuster movie. Two boxes. Two. I'll take two. If it was one, then I'd be mad. Gentlemen, I give you the soccer stadium. Biggest in the world holds two. I'm glad it's labeled Big TNT. I don't really know like the right timing to activate these. Not like that. You're, you're, one, you're, you're thinking one jump ahead. Ripper Roo was a character I didn't like playing as in Crash Team Racing. He's one of those characters that steered very well, but he didn't have very good top speed or acceleration. Why am I... Why... Mm. What did he say when he was drowning? So I I'm think it was look, look, look out of the way! He's gonna jump on you! Fuck me. I'm just watching him. I'm definitely a a short ancestry enjoyer in fantasy stuff. I enjoy me yeah. my dwarves. I enjoy me my halflings. They're good boys, Colin. Also, good job, Zach. I don't like the boss. <laughs> Ripper. How's Crash teleporting? Okay, this one has the green gem. Yeah, this one is the green gem. But not the normal box gem, or is that the green gem? I think you get it by getting all the boxes on this. Mayhaps. I stuck. No, how are you gonna get back out? Oh. Very smart boys, FPG. You might have to just. Yep. I hate games that do that. It's called thinking outside the box. Yeah, Sam. You're breaking boxes. There's a hidden gem. Crash 4 has hidden gems that does something like that. Yeah, so all the gems in Crash Bandicoot 1 are just break all the boxes. 
Thank you for making the day face a uh, unofficial what? edgelord's okay. emote. What? Yeah, now you can. The game is fucking me. What? What? You just had to find him, didn't you? Why did Cortex decide on a bandicoot? If he hates bandicoots, why did he decide one to be the general of his like army? Well, if the experiment went horribly wrong, then there'd be minus one bandicoot in the world. If it goes wrong, then he still oh, gets something good want, out of it. He just wanted a win-win scenario. Like, I hate this animal. It's therefore, it'll be my gen. That's so dumb. No, hang on. <laughs> That's so dumb. I hate that. That's money. Do I have to not die? I have to not die, right? That's right. Yep. All right, Colin. Oh, this one. Have fun with this one. What are you? Oh, hog. The pig. Blue? Okay. Uh, hi. How's it going? How is it blue? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Far. Far. Oh, you, you, they jumped, I jumped on you now. Uh, Roman, would you fuck Tana? Fuck Tana? Yeah. This is a dangerously furry question. You thinking about it? Uh, mm, <laughs> I mean, kinda. I'm trying to measure what, like, my Paragon Renegade score will be at if I answer yes or no. You're what? Have <laughs> you never played? Um. <laughs> fucking. Oh, what is it? Mass Effect? Why does it affect your alignment if you would fuck a bandicoot? I don't know. That's that's why I'm trying to consider the ramifications. I'm gonna say no, and not for any particular spiritual reason. I thought about it. I thought about it, so, and I also thought about it. So you can't just have like a, a slam bam, thank you, ma'am. It's hotter when you know their personality. I get it. I wish uh, my face was captured so I could like like you the office, look just the, like you, look at the you, camera. You, what? I need. Aren't you proud of me, Colin? Look at that. I, yeah, I'm very proud of you getting even, half of the boxes. I thought you do that in this one. I thought they changed the hitboxes for the, the rope, so you couldn't do that anymore. I think they just made it harder. In the original PlayStation, like, the hitboxes were all square, so you could easily just walk on the thing, but I think they changed the hitboxes, like, circular. Yes, um, they are yeah. circular, but it's still possible. That level has claimed, like, 30 of my lives. I, I know that for a fact. My question because is, does this boulder have a Wikipedia page? What? Why do you keep thinking there's, like, lore to Crash Bandicoot, other than it's just a silly animal that... Because <laughs> I think it's funny. ...that spins around and wants to kill the yellow man. Well, it's also my favorite thing, like, when a background character shows up for one episode for three frames and no nowhere else, but they have a Wikipedia page for no fucking reason. A glonk is a flanimal. Shut up. <laughs> and it looks like this. And <laughs> he looks like this. Oh, it's Koala Kong! No. Holy shit. Look at that guy, he's got no legs. I remember there being a speedrun shack with this guy. He looks how I feel after I do de deadlifting. You never see this character again, too, I'm pretty sure. He's got like a cameo in uh, Twin Sanity, but you never see him again. And I think they just replaced him with Tiny. Yeah, because Tiny is like also a strong character. Roman is now playing Street Fighter 6. When does that battle pass end again? And then the second thought was, do I care? <laughs> I just want to, like, clobber people. Like, I yeah, think the most right. you all get is, like, maybe... I, I've been thinking about picking up Blanca. I don't know if that'll help the gorilla accusations, but follow your heart. It's not my fault they made him monkey-like. Also, the monkey accusations haven't been around for a while. That's true. Yeah, it's only Gimper that does it, too, these days. I'm gonna say the monkey accusations and the fat accusations have been at a minimum recently. I don't know if it's, like, the frame rate on the live stream, but, like... Those little, like, floating platforms, it looks like they're just, like, leaking bananas. <laughs> Imagine having, like, your entire facility powered by potassium. I mean, Cortex is yellow. He eats a lot you think of bananas. He's, ye he's yellow because he eats so many bananas. That's why he hates Crash, because he likes Wumper Fruit so much. That's and true. not bananas. What a fruit racist. Oh, look, it's the rat. Goddamn. Toxic waste. This one has the blue gem. Don't die, Zam. Oh, it's a mobster. Is it just one long hallway? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not that much of a sit down and watch kind of person either. Um, I have to watch it with someone. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You jumping? Perspective is hard, Zeb. That's all. That's all the boxes. 
Does dying in the special states count? I don't, I don't think it does. I I'm okay though, that counts. No, I don't. That, that, that totally counts. I don't think dying in the special stage counts. Yo, it was right before the end! Yeah. He tried to, he tried to fight a man with a gun. Okay, they gave him a gun. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll just wait. take your time. I know, I'll wait. <laughs> He'll run out, right? Or yeah, yeah he's, he's reloading. When he when he goes like crossing over to reload, you can hit him. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just like a cover shooter, guys. You like cover shooters? Wait, part two? Oh, there's a part two. More bridges, baby. Yeah, more bridges. Loop. What's up? What was that? I, I wooed because uh, okay, I didn't know who was a woo that or just like cry for help. Chihuahua. <laughs> he's gaming. Those pigs. I almost took a pig home over the summer. You stole one? No, I considered purchasing one okay. from someone who bred them. <laughs> Here the you go, Colin. stole one? God. So the question remains, would you crash or would you bandicoot? Um, Either, because I hate him. <laughs> I hate Crash Bandicoot. That's why I'm playing Crash Bandicoot Marathon right now, baby. It's a PS1 All-Star. I was obligated to. <laughs> I was obligated to. This is I was it. obligated. The, the real US Zap government. has come out. He's turning into fucking Mr. Hyde now. This is the real ZapPG. He hates Crash Bandicoot. Sonic the Hedgehog is way fucking cooler. I just hate that people keep talking about Crash and just ignore Spyro. It is true. Spyro was basically like, what would you call it? Like the answer to like Mario 64 or whatever? Or maybe Banjo-Kazooie? Because he's got like the same collectathon vibes, right? Banjo-Kazooie is essentially Mario 64 more than Spyro. It's sort of a collectathon. I should play Banjo at some point on stream. That would be really fun. Yeah, play the good version then, not Tui. I like bolts. Tui. Tui's good, okay? Trick everyone and, say, and play Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> End the stage. Yeah, one box. Great. I died, but it doesn't wow. Lights out with the purple gem. Oh. Oh, that's right. Lights out. Doesn't this have like evil boxes tucked away on the sides somewhere? Yeah. You don't know anything about Crash 4, right? No, not a thing. Oh, God damn it! I can see it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh God. Nice job. Oh, but Crash 4, stupidest box placements ever. Really? It, it's essentially kind of like what I just asked. Like, is there like an evil box tucked away in the corner? Or the box would be like above this. Go away, rats. Yeah, Crash 4 Ooh. has a lot of very evil placements of some stuff. Uh, all the rats. All the rats. Oh my God. No green gem for me. Ends right there. Three box. Oh, man. Bam. Where are the keys? Um, uh, good question. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Yikes. I don't, I don't That's the one thing I don't love about the remake is that it, 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 his heart just doesn't sound in the whoa. They called him in and they're like, okay, Crash, can you record us a whoa? And he was like, whoa? And they were like, all right, perfect, thank you. Did they get the same war or is it a different war? I think it's a different, like, there's no way, right? I yeah, know. Oh, okay, but apparently the original voice of Crash Bandicoot died this year. <laughs> okay. If you're such a big fan of Bandicoot, name every Bandicoot. Uh... There aren't any. He's right. It was see, that one the, he crashes dying in this episode right here, see? <laughs> and now there's no more bandicoots. Come on, 69. 69. <laughs> you killed him. 86 boxes. Oh, I was joking. Bandicoots are extinct. They were declared as extinct as of 2023, uh, 2013. That would have been crazy if, if Crash Bandicoot, if Bandicoots went extinct this year, and I didn't know about that. The remaining population is currently protected and being trying to be repopulated to a more stable number. But as of right now, they are considered an extinct species. This is maybe 
a little like rude to bandicoots but like bandicoots went extinct after the full original set of crash bandicoot games i mean it's not their fault <laughs> well yeah i know it is all crash's fault because people wanted to be more like cortex so they hunted bandicoots they hunted bandicoots. No, they, just, they just like exposed like high intensity radiation to bandicoot and made fake crashes there's so many fake crashes they wait a little bit longer to introduce the conveyor belts in this game, but in Donald Duck, they introduce it like level 5. Yeah, so you're saying Donald Duck is the better game? I mean, I suppose I could, physically. <laughs> I don't know that I want to. What the audience doesn't see is that Colin has made it all the way to Washington, and he has a <laughs> knife firmly pressed against my throat right now. And uh, I'm whispering to him, say, whoa, right now. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, look at me! Look, it's Nero. He's got a few screws loose, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure I know a couple people in real life who have a giant N and a giant B on the on their floor. There's a way you can soft lock this game with this guy. I'm pretty sure it's a frame perfect thing. You have to like land on these green guys, the frame they spawn. Wow, look at this! It's a cartoon skeleton, Jimmy. Hi, Sheen. This machine beats the workers. Begin the beating. Very good. Zip. Why does the glass hurt me? Uh, bandicoots are weak to glass. Well, apparently they're weak to everything. They're extinct. Damn. I don't know. I, I love the idea of somebody just having a vendetta against an animal so hard that they just become infinitely happier after they learn that they went extinct. Like, oh, thank God. I'm, I'm not saying I'm happy. Whole life. I've been waiting my whole life for bandicoots to never come back. <laughs> That's fucked up if you say that. What was your favorite part of the Zappy G livestream? My favorite part was when he played Donald Duck and then he looked at the, straight at the camera and said, I'm glad that bandicoots don't exist anymore. <laughs> so who's, who's Brio this one. with us? Who's Brio? Yeah. Well, what does he do? This. This. I guess. A scientist. There's no other scientist in this game. <laughs> There's no other scientist. That's true. You know engine column? For I love yeah. That's yeah. Gimper. How tall is Gimper? That would be funny if he was just a fucking manlet. He's shorter than me, so he's the second tallest in for the polar boys. I was gonna say is that I'm pretty sure most people are shorter than me. <laughs> Do I have to jump on him with this? Then I can be Dr. Embryo. Oh. Okay. okay. Is this how this boss fight worked in the original? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They didn't change like gameplay wise that much. I just don't remember this boss fight, I guess. It's forgettable. He never comes back again until, like, Mind Over Mutant. Oh, he was in the Crash Bandicoot manga. What the fuck do you mean there's a Crash Bandicoot <laughs> manga? <laughs> he shows up briefly in Crash 2. Oh, that's right. He 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 destroys the Cortex Vortex. Or is Ripper Roo, Colin? Why am I Ripper Roo? Why would... Wait, no, 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 in... no, no, Dingo Dial. That's his name. Dingo, Dingo Dial. Dial? I'd be okay with that. He can be Dingo Dial. Or is Colin Crunch? Crunch, Crunch the Bandicoot. Beast of Bandicoot. The, the, the ridiculously <laughs> buff extra Bandicoot that they made. Yeah. Crash uh, Bandicoot. He got uh, by one of Crash Bandicoot's classic japes, Zap. Where do you go? Isn't this the bonus level where if you have all the, all the gems, gems, you get the... If you have yeah. all the gems, you can go there. Yeah. Then you don't have all the gems, so you, so you just go home. Loser. Okay. Darn you, Crash Bandicoot! Do I remember this? You can't stop me now, Crash. Oh, oh, okay. I bought a Glock. <laughs> Not even trying to hit me. Oh, it's a okay. gun oh. show in Oklahoma. Oh, it, it, it rolls on the ground. And they had your ID. Three when I crossed the border, Crash Bandicoot. What? As in, when you go to Oklahoma, they give you a free gun. Oh, you can you can fall off this. Uh, okay. well, yeah. I'm Magic Cortex seeing that happen. <laughs> And I've got you now. Where are you going? Why is this balloon just made of like soft fabric? It does look like his grandma quilted this balloon for you. Why is this castle on fire? You lit it on fire because you're a no good bandicoot. Oh. You can tell by he's he's certified bad dude with his sunglasses. It's true. Green. Itch. It's green. It's green. That's right. I wouldn't mind it so much if Crash Disintegrating didn't look extremely painful. He looks like that... I, I, I'm pretty sure I've made this reference before, but he looks like that fucking skeleton from, like, the Terminator 2 nuke going off or whatever it is. 
Yeah. Oh, really? I'm another nerd. Because that was also like a like a practical effects mystery for a while. Was like, how the fuck did they film him walking through that thing in like at the time that they did? Yeah, the actor just decided to do that. Or at scene, it was improv. Yeah, he just did that. He had that power. Oh, I never beat this boss when I did this game. I just got the achievement. Well, I'm probably use up. You finally, Crash Bandicoot super fan finally plays Crash Bandicoot. Oh, now he gets sex. Oh my god. Crash, you may be a manly, but you're my manly. You're not that hot. <laughs> toys for Bob. Thank goodness for toys for Bob. You're, okay. you're, okay. you're just still livid that I called Aqua Mid. That's what it is. I can't believe they never made another Crash game after this one. <laughs> no. So, what happens next stream? Are we going to Crash 2? No, Spiral 1. Okay. We're gonna swap back and forth through uh, Crash and Spyro. And that's gonna play with the Fat Spyro mod. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a Fat Spyro mod. Yeah, I know. That's exactly yeah. what I was referring to. Oh, there is. Yeah, Colin okay. and I both know about it. There's a lot of not safe for work mods. I guess people really want to fuck tiny dragons. Well, it's not the dragons. It's uh, all the. It's everyone else. <laughs> it's everybody else. Yeah. It's all the dragon statues. All the dragon daddies. No, no, nothing dragon related. There are other characters besides dragons. Well, okay, but like, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> this is such random inserted like sound effect every like so often. It annoys me. Yeah, because Crash Bandicoot's wacky. Roman, make a sound effect right now. Nexus mod, Spyro. What's the most downloaded? What the fuck is that noise? Colin asked me to make a noise. <laughs> I thought that was the game. No. Oh my god. Oh, listen to this music. Zap, get up and dance to this. All right, skipping. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do now? He's gonna play the bonus level. The level that they cut for being too hard. How many go should I go? Is 20 too little? I was gonna make it much lower, just like three. Make it count. Five. Okay. Five cacti. Okay. Okay. Uh, Roman, um, there's a Pikmin sprout in front of you. What do you do? I get out a dictionary and start reading out loud. Okay, roll uh, performance. Uh, I got a 13. Uh, my performance is kind of low since I am a barbarian. So as you start reading out the dictionary, millions, and I'm talking millions of uh, rats come out from the crevices and corridors, your surroundings, willing to learn the English language. And they're actually quite fast learners. As you read off the pages of the dictionary, the rats have had, have now very basic grasp of the common dialect. I arbitrarily make one of the rats the king rat. Roll animal handling. Twelve and animal handling is that attached to wisdom or? It's a wisdom one, yeah. Okay. It's a 14. The ceremony of the coronation process goes on pretty smoothly. However, you do know that there's a small contingency of rats that are calling for a democracy rather than a monarchy of their kind. I ask the wizard what I should do. Wizard companion strokes his beard very stagely and nods as you explain the situation to him. He consults his crystal ball and the crystal ball gives him the wisdom that he needs, which advises him that uh, no one has ever opted for a uh, anarcho-communism route. So we should probably make a third political party of rats. I give one of the rats a pair of sunglasses and a patch for his cool jacket. And I teach him the ways of anarcho-communism. Okay, roll persuasion. Okay. Okay, that is a nat 20. So your teachings have uh, performed and, and settled in so well with this populist of rats is that they've been they have become the most educated amongst the political parties and have been dominating the next uh three elections and it seems like this is the new government they are going to adopt <laughs> thanks to your teachings um you have I've... won the game you have unlocked the secret ending you've now unlocked big head mode i would like to start okay, a yeah, new that, that's a route. You're at your home with your companion, Zapuel G. And Zapuel has his wizard staff at the ready. Though he doesn't know any spells yet, he is an eager young uh, wizard ready to learn. Zap would be the worst fucking wizard. I'm sorry, Zap. In 0.2, Colin said it'll be a good wizard. <laughs> Which one is it? You'll have to find that out through your decision making in this playthrough. In this playthrough that is over right now. Okay. Well, we do have more Call crash to look forward to. You, you hear that, dead bandicoots? It's all about the crash games. Good night. Have a day. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.